Hello friends and family from around the world. This is Mike with Morning Dew Daily Events Worldwide and we are on April 12th, 2021 and welcome to the Daily Dew where we look at all things space weather, world weather and anything else that's affecting humanity. Thank you for joining me. Looking here, SDO is back. Looking at the last 48 hours, 304 angstroms, bright earth facing region and as well large plasma filaments taking off from the sun and we did have another CME eject from the sun as well so yet the second coronal mass ejection of the day one overnight and then one throughout the day today shortly thereafter actually quick look here at the incoming region and another bright look here at our sun and all of its activity. 511 angstroms here, and you can see the coronal holes developing right around that bright spot and stretching towards the southern hemisphere. Looking here, Lasco 2 and Lasco 3. So you can see that one CME and then number two come out there. I did post a video on the first CME. So that's a double CME for April 11th and into 12th. Pretty sizable and not earth facing. But looking at the annual spiral, you can see both sides ejecting CMEs. One overnight throughout the day today but no major event because they were not earth facing. Looking here at a real time solar wind, we are steady at about 370 kilometers per second. And it jumped up to about 386 kilometers per second. Fly angles starting to flip flop a little bit again. Looking here at our Schumann resonance for today, a power of 38, seeing a little bit of energy this morning. So an amplitude of 38 and a quality of 21 Frequency max of 8.23. Looking here at earthquakes the last 24 hours. Most recently here, 5.2 Loyalty Islands at a 10 kilometer depth. And as well, we did see that very deep earthquake. 613 kilometer depth yesterday. Still kind of waiting for a larger earthquake. We did see a few sizable earthquakes through Japan, Marianas Trench, and as well Indonesia here, 5.2, 228 kilometer depth, 4.9 here in Bandar. Indonesia 4.9 that's right by Krakatoa and as well Marianas Islands Japan region as well Volcano Islands Japan region 5.2 5.1 here in South Japan Nazi and as well 4.3 4.6 this was yesterday Russia a couple small earthquakes to report here Alaska nothing major and as well across the US North American plate and into Canada. Nothing major to report either. Another small 2.6 there, Oklahoma. And as well, Western Texas 3.1. or And as also a 2.7 White City, New Mexico. Stanley, Idaho 2.5. And largest earthquakes today, Cali 2.7, 2.5. But both in the geyser, pretty notable as well. A couple earthquakes there through Central America from yesterday. And then looking at Puerto Rico today, reported 3.6, four kilometer depth. And they're seeing more activity come back to the region. And we've seen swarms there all year long. 
And now that St. Vincent, I mean, just look at satellite imagery of the ash cloud pretty much burying Barbados and as well parts of St. Vincent. Massive ash cloud from Soufrière. Amazing. Overlooking South America. Argentina earthquakes from yesterday. Nothing major to report. 4.3 there, Peru. Kind of expecting an uptick here through Argentina. 116 kilometer depth. Four point two there in Libya to report. But yeah, pretty quiet last twenty four hours for earthquakes all around, especially through North American plate. Looking at the last seven days around the world, seeing a lot of deep earthquakes recently, but the numbers have not been up. Seeing increased activity through Philippines plate into Japan, and as well. Kermadex into loyalty. But the deep earthquakes, we still have to be able to expect a larger earthquake. So be on watch and be ready. Having a look here, Pacific Disaster Center, most recent volcanoes to update. Of course, getting another update from Soufrière in St. Vincent, Fuego in Guatemala, Rung, Indonesia. Dokono, Indonesia, Sabancaya in Peru, Sangue in Ecuador, Reventador in Ecuador, Suiza and Ajima, Japan, Ebico in Russia, Popo in Mexico, Era in Japan, Kermiski, Russia, Nevada, Stichilian, Cinnabung, and Pacaya. So yeah, that's about 16 volcanoes getting updated today amongst the 42 that are active and erupting, including Era, which is not included on the volcanic activity report. No tropical cyclones to talk about. No hurricanes to talk about. Looking here at the five-day forecast brought to you by Meteor Earth, Meteor Mike. Looking at things warming up across the west and cooling in the east, which is kind of a strange transition. It kind of warms up in the east first most times, but not this year. We're going to get some nice temps here this week, but then they're going to drop again. Huge high-pressure ridge coming in from the north there. Low pressure system here developing over Colorado and is going to be pushed southward by strong high pressure ridge from Canada. So what was supposed to be a winter storm will be not much of a wind event and snow flurries through Colorado once that high pressure ridge deals with the low. But we'll see how much that low brings up for moisture and warmth from the Gulf. But it, it will be cold. Looking at minus 4 through parts of Colorado and you will see a snowstorm coming this week but as I said there's a high pressure ridge right behind it it's hard to say how much moisture will be left in the system overlooking eastern parts of Canada and the US lingering snow and mixed precipitation through Atlantic Canada and then watch as the low pressure system from Ontario moves east into the Atlantic and that could bring some extreme weather as well parts of the east coast of the United States overlooking the Atlantic big low pressure system scooting towards Greenland now and that's the one we've been documenting all week it's finally let loose and heading north same with the cyclone that's heading south towards the south pole overlooking Europe lingering low pressure center through central parts going to diminish and then a developing low pressure center here through the Mediterranean out of Africa. It's going to bring some weather later in the week, but no major weather systems for Europe after that big winter storm has moved through. No major weather systems to talk about for Africa either. You could see some strong winds and rain and really cool temperatures towards South Africa this week. Overlooking Southeast Asia, watching a low move into the Banda Sea later in the week. But this is the big story. We do have a typhoon on your doorstep, Philippines. Looking at the five-day forecast here, showing at least a Category 2, maybe a 3 typhoon by the time it hits land. 
Stay tuned to Morning Dew. I will be giving you an update tomorrow on the status of this typhoon. It's still unnamed, but it is an area of interest. And you can see five-day forecast showing a pretty strong typhoon. Overlooking Australia, cool temperatures moving in from the south for half the continent. And as well, rain showers moving into coastal regions, parts of Sydney up into Brisbane. And a line of moisture from that cool high pressure ridge from the South Pole. New Zealand. Looks like the rain will be stopping on Wednesday. Overlooking Hawaii. No major weather systems affecting you. Overlooking South America. Daily evaporation rains could see heavy amounts through central parts of Nicaragua and Peru, and Panama, Colombia. This week, you could see some pretty extreme weather along the coastlines here through Central America. So heads up through those regions. I'm going to leave you here looking at the northern hemisphere versus the southern. And as well, the major Pacific and interesting jet streams that are happening across the northern hemisphere right now. Thanks for watching today. This has been Mike with Morning Dew, daily events worldwide. Stay aware and prepared. Stay young and have fun and get your morning dew. Look at that strange low moving from the north there. Bye-bye. If you enjoyed today's video, please hit that like button, subscribe, share with your friends and family from across the world.